Well, the Talmudic Jewish lobby is continuing in their usual cancel culture ways that have been going on for over 2,000 years. Ever since the days of the early church, they've been trying to censor speech they don't like, which is just typical behavior of the Talmudic Jewish lobby throughout history. The uh, Talmudic, I'll put it this way, the Judeo-Satanist lobby, that's one way I like putting it. But in this particular example, they're trying to shut down this uh, individual in Poland, uh, you know, uh, anti-Semitic hate speech charges and cheering on an anti-free speech law. And I need to point something out. This is, you know, it's the it's a Catholic priest being charged. And I'm not pro-Catholic whatsoever. Roman Catholicism is of the devil, plain and simple. Roman Catholicism is every bit as, is, you know, from the pit of hell as Judaism is. So, one, don't take this as any kind of defense of the Mystery Babylon Roman Catholic Church. I have over 200 videos on this channel, on YouTube at least, attacking Rome and exposing Rome. So don't, don't think I'm pro-Catholic by any means whatsoever. But this is just yet another example of the Talmudic Jewish lobby keeping to their historical ways of cancel culture. So in this particular article, it's on uh, the uh, Jewish Telegraph Agency. It says, in first, Polish priest uh, sentence on charges of spreading anti-Semitic hate speech. And that's the thing too, the, the Talmudic Jewish lobby, just like the, the uh, Muslims, you know, the Ishmaelite Muslims, would love to make it illegal to criticize them. Because that's just how they've always been, and that's how they always will be. Uh, said in the article, a Polish priest with a long history uh, or a long track record of anti-Semitic comments has been sentenced to a community service after being convicted of insulting Jews and inciting hatred against, and inciting hatred against him. In what his critics say is a landmark case, father, you know, which is blasphemy, by the way, called no man father, Matthew twenty-three verse seven. Uh, sorry, tw uh, seven through nine. I do apologize. Uh, so you know, Roman Catholicism again is of the devil and satanic. But uh, father, you know, quote unquote father. Uh, can't pronounce some of these European names, Polish names at least. A Catholic priest from the city of uh, Pozman must perform 30 hours of community service a month for the next six months according to the order handed down by a judge earlier this month. He was on trial for comments made during a sermon on, in October of 2021. He says, quote, Jews in the world have assumed their role of, have assumed the role of a leech, a tick, a body a, a, that lives on the host body swells, leading the, the host body to, de to death. Moving on to the next one, unquote. He said during, uh, according to Polish media, he also said that Jews were in league with the devil and they're responsible for the spread of sexual impropriety in Poland. And, you know, there is truth to that. Because you look at the main pushers of the, the uh, homosexual ideology, it is the Talmudic Jewish lobby. And that's true of other, other cases as well. Even, you know, in, in my birth country of Russia, the Talmudic Jewish lobby have always been the ones that have outcried the most against some, you know, law, that, against any law that comes out restricting the kind of ideology of the homosexual agenda. So there is truth to that. The Talmudic Jews and the homosexual lobby, the, I'll put it this way, the, the Talmudic Jewish lobby is in full cahoots with the homosexual lobby. So, anyway, it says, uh, continuing on the article, he says, he, saw, he said, according to Polish media, oh yeah, he says that he's already facing sanctions from the church because of his record of controversy, and he delivered the sermon online because he has been suspended from his pulpit, uh, but because he remains an ordained priest, his conviction is groundbreaking, according to the civil society group that pre uh, pressed for him to face charges. Well, wow, talk about censorship, you know, Nazi-style censorship of speech. It's a bunch of garbage, but hey... It's to be expected from the Talmudic Jewish lobby. It says the, uh, the group uh, Open Republic is devoted to fighting anti-Semitism and xenophobia in Poland. Said, uh, there is a, a, a precedent case. It said in the statement, it, it was not, again, not saying, saying good at saying some of these names. It was not his first hateful sermon, but the first one that, that the prosecutor's office dealt with. Jewish leaders in Poland are cheering on the verdict. It says, uh, quote, he is, no, he is well known for his anti-Semitic uh, diatribes and anti-church diatribes. He is called Pope Francis the Heretic, Poland's chief rabbi. Michael Scrooge, Rich, whatever you say the guy's name, told the Jewish Telegraph Agency by email, the Polish court ha has handed down a clear civil verdict that anti-Semitic hate speech is illegal in Poland. We are hopeful that the Polish civil courts will continue to find others guilty of this crime. It also talks about how the judge ruled that he was guilty of insulting Jews because of their nationality, inciting hatred on the basis of... The uh, uh, on the basis of natural differences, after the or uh, yeah, after the, the judge ruled he was guilty of insulting Jews based on nationality. Oh, I already read that. He says I was convicted of preaching, and apparently the Jews did not like me very much because I love the Lord Jesus as a non-Jew. I concede to the Jewish king, while the Jews do not do not so much to their king. Well, the Jesus of Roman Catholicism is, is the Antichrist. 
you know, the oh, uh, sorry, the Christ of Roman Catholicism, I'll put it that way, is the Antichrist. You see, their Jesus is not the Jesus Christ of the Bible. I'll, I'll just put it that way. See, I'm bashing Rome as well, because Rome is every bit as, uh, of the devil as Judaism is. It says, well, the comments were extreme. Traditional Catholic, Catholic liturgy includes some anti-Semitic elements. In 2021, the Pope restricted the use of Latin Mass at her traditionalist liturgy that includes a prayer for the conversion of Jews. Out of concern that it was being used by those who did not accept that the Catholic Church... Uh, sorry, did not accept the Catholic Church 1965 statement. Look at this. 1965 statement declaring that Jews were not responsible for Jesus' death. Well, the scriptures say otherwise. Again, Matthew 27, verse 20 down to verse 25. The Jews themselves said, you know, his blood be upon us and upon our children. They themselves in, in the scriptures openly admit to their responsibility. But once again, Catholic tradition negates, uh, neglects scripture. And yet the Jews ought to be converted, because the, the religion of Judaism, just like the, the, the false religion of Catholicism, is a ticket to hell. Nothing wrong with praying for their conversion, but not praying for their conversion to another false religion of Catholicism, praying to their conversion towards their king, Jesus Christ. Put it that way. Because, because Catholicism will take it to hell just as fast as, as Judaism will. But anyway, that's just the point, is that the Talmudic Jewish lobby is just back to their usual ways of opposing uh, speech they don't like because they're just a bunch of Nazis who hate free speech. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.